reproduction in organisms events in sexual reproduction most of the higher organisms reproduce almost entirely by sexual method in different types of organisms the structures associated with sexual reproduction are different there is a regular sequence in events of sexual reproduction different organisms have a functional similarity in the events of sexual reproduction the three sequential events in sexual reproduction are pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization pre fertilization events it includes all the events of sexual reproduction prior to the fusion of gametes the two main events in pre fertilization are gametogenesis and gamete transfer gametogenesis the process of formation of gametes is called gametogenesis there are two types of gametes male gamete and the female gametes the gametes are haploid cells in some algae the two gametes are so similar in appearance that it is not possible to categorize them into male and female gametes this type of gametes are called homogametes or isogametes in majority of sexually reproducing organisms the gametes produced are of two morphologically distinct types and are called heterogametes in such organisms the male gamete is called the anthrozoid or the sperm and the female gamete is called the egg or the ovum here these are the isogametes here both the gametes are identical here this is the heterogametes here egg is large and non motile whereas the male gamete is small and motile and these are the heterogametes in human beings the egg which is large and non motile the male gamete is the sperm and they are motile and small in size sexuality in organism sexual reproduction is the fusion of male and female gametes from two different individuals this is not always true plants may have both male and female reproductive structures in the same plant or on different plant organism are of two types bisexual and unisexual if both male and female reproductive structures are seen in the same organism they are called bisexual for example in hibiscus earthworm sweet potato and cara you can see the male and the female reproductive structures in the same organism if male and female reproductive structures are seen in different organisms they are said to be unisexual for example papaya marchensia cockroach human beings etc we can see the male and the female reproductive structures in different organisms here are the example in earthworm both the male and the female reproductive part are seen in the same individual in the case of cara both the male and the female reproductive parts are seen in the same individual but in marchensia you can see the female reproductive part called the archegonium in one thallus and the male reproductive part called the anthridium in another plant in the same way in cockroach you can see separate male cockroach and the female cockroach in the case of sweet potato flower we can see the male reproductive part the stamen and the female reproductive part the carpel in the same individual flowers having both male and female reproductive structures in the same flower are called the bisexual flowers for example hibiscus solanum etc flowers having either male or female reproductive structures are called unisexual flowers the unisexual flowers are of two types male flower or the staminate flower and the female flower or the pistillate flower the flower having the male reproductive part or the stamen are called the staminate flower 
and the flower having the female reproductive part or pistil are called the pistillate flower when both male and female flowers are seen in the same plant it is called monoecious for example in the case of coconut tree you can see both the male and the female flowers in the same plant in maize in cucurbits etc when male and the female flowers are seen in different plants it is called dioecious for example date palm papaya mulberry etc sexuality in animals animals are also of two types unisexual and bisexual individuals of all species with either male or female organisms are called unisexual organisms or unisexual animals for example cockroach dog human beings animals with both the male and the female reproductive organs are called the bisexual animals bisexual animals are also known as hermaphrodites for example earthworm tapeworm leech etc in several fungi and plants homothallic and monoecious terms are used to denote the bisexual condition and heterothallic and dioecious for unisexual condition cell division during the gamete formation in heterogametic species they produce two types of gametes male gamete and the female gametes gametes are always haploid whether the parent organism producing them are haploid or diploid in haploid organisms gametes are produced by mitosis or equational division for example the monera fungi algae and bryophytes in diploid organisms the gametes are produced by meiosis or reduction division for example pteridophyte gymnosperms angiosperms etc in diploid organisms specialized cells called meiocytes or gamete mother cell undergo meiosis at the end of meiosis only one set of chromosomes enter into each gamete and thus the gametes becomes haploid in haploid organisms total chromosome occur as a single group or single set in each cell in diploid organisms the total chromosomes occur in two groups or two sets in each cell here the name of the organism the diploid number and the haploid number in human beings the diploid chromosome number is 46 and the haploid number in the gamete is 23 house fly the diploid number is 12 and the haploid number in the gamete is 6 in rat the diploid number is 42 and the haploid number is 21 in dog the diploid number is 78 and the haploid number is 39 in cat the diploid number is 38 and the haploid number is 19 in fruit fly the diploid number is 8 and the haploid is 4 in ophioglossum which is a fern the diploid number is 1260 and the haploid number is 630 in apple the diploid number is 34 and the haploid number is 17 In rice, the diploid number twenty-four and the haploid twelve. In maize, the diploid number is twelve and the sorry, the diploid number is twenty and the haploid number is ten. Potato, the diploid number is forty-eight and the haploid number is twenty-four. In butterfly, the diploid number is three eighty and the haploid one ninety. In onion, the diploid number is thirty-two and the haploid number is sixteen. gamete transfer after the formation of the gametes they are physically brought together to facilitate the fusion or fertilization in majority of organisms male is motile and the female is stationary except in few fungi and algae in which both the gametes are motile a medium is needed for the gametes to move in several simple plants like algae bryophytes and pteridophytes water is the medium through which the gamete transfer takes place a large number of male gametes however fail to reach the female gametes 
to compensate this loss of male gametes during transport the number of male gametes produced is several thousand times the number of female gametes produced in seed plants the pollen grains are the carriers of male gametes and the ovule have the egg the pollen grains produced in anthers have to be transferred to the stigma before fertilization happens in bisexual self fertilizing plants for example in peas transfer to the stigma is easy as anther and stigma are located close to each other the pollen grains soon after they are shed come in contact with the stigma in cross pollinating plants pollination facilitates the transfer of the pollen grains to the stigma the process of transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is called pollination pollen grains germinate on the stigma and the pollen tubes carrying the male gametes reach the ovule and discharge the male gametes near the egg in dioecious animals since male and the female gametes are formed in different individuals the organism must evolve a special mechanism for the gamete transfer successful transfer and coming together of the gamete is essential for the most critical event in sexual reproduction which is fertilization here this is the cross pollination the bees are acting as an agent for pollination and the pollen grains are deposited on the stigma fertilization the process of the fusion of the male and the female gamete is called fertilization or syncomy depending upon the place of syncomy it is of two types external and internal fertilization external fertilization the syncomy which occurs outside the body of organism in the external medium is called external fertilization it usually takes place in the aquatic medium for example most of the algae fishes amphibians etc the organisms which exhibit external fertilization release a large number of male gametes these organisms also exhibit a great synchrony between the sexes that is release male and female gametes at the same time this helps the chance of syncomy This happens in bony fishes and frogs where a large number of offsprings are produced. A major disadvantage is that the offsprings are extremely vulnerable to predators threatening their survival up to adulthood. Internal fertilization. The syncomy which occurs inside the body of the organism is in the internal medium. In many terrestrial organisms belonging to fungi higher animals such as reptiles birds mammals and in a majority of plants internal fertilization takes place eggs are formed inside the female body where they fuse with the male gamete in organisms exhibiting internal fertilization the male gamete is motile and has to reach the egg in order to fuse with it in these even though the number of sperms produced is very large there is a significant reduction in the number of the eggs produced in seed plants the non motile gametes are carried to the female gametes by pollen tubes here this is a fusion of the gametes zygote is formed and the zygote develops to forms the new individual if syncomy does not occur the female gamete develops into a new organism without fertilization and this phenomenon is called parthenogenesis Parthenogenesis is seen in rotifers, honey bees, some lizards, birds, etc. Post fertilization events. Events in sexual reproduction after the formation of the zygote are called the post fertilization events. The zygote is the fusion product of the male and the female gamete. In organisms with external fertilization, zygote is formed in the external medium. whereas in those exhibiting internal fertilization zygote is formed inside the body of the organism for the development of the zygote depends on the type of life cycle that the organism has and the environment it is exposed to in organisms belonging to fungi and algae zygote develops a thick wall that is resistant to desiccation and damage 
it undergoes a period of rest before germination in organisms with haplontic life cycle the zygote divides by meiosis to form the haploid spores that grow into haploid individuals zygote is the vital link that ensures the continuity of the species between organisms of one generation and the next every sexually reproducing organism including human beings begin life as a single cell the zygote embryogenesis the process of the development of the embryo from the zygote is called embryogenesis during this process the zygote undergoes cell division and cell differentiation the zygote undergoes repeated cell division through mitosis the mitotic division increases the number of cells in the developing embryo the undifferentiated cells of developing embryo undergo certain modifications at specific locations to form different tissues organs and organ system as a result a new individual is formed animals are categorized into oviparous and viviparous based on whether the development of the zygote takes place outside the body of the female parent or inside in oviparous animals like reptiles and birds the fertilized eggs covered by calcareous shells are laid in a safe places in the environment after a period of incubation young ones hatches out in viviparous animals majority of mammals including human beings the zygote develops into a young one inside the body of the female organism after attaining a certain stage of growth the young ones are delivered out of the body of the female organism because of the proper embryonic care and protection the chances of the survival of the young one is greater in viviparous organism in flowering plants the zygote is formed inside the ovule after fertilization the sepals the petals and the stamens of the flowers wither and fall off the pistil remains attached to the plant the zygote develops into embryo ovule becomes the seed ovary becomes a fruit which develops a thick wall called the pericarp which is protective in function after dispersal the seeds germinate under favorable condition to produce the new plants here in the picture you can see the ovary wall which develops to form the pericarp and in the center you can see the endocarp and the seeds so in today's session we have learned the three events in reproduction the pre fertilization event the fertilization and the post fertilization events